right, don't be impatient. There you go. Hey, it's Scotty. And I'm here with one of the Rancho Cucamonga boys. The one that we thought was a girl. I just checked his teeth. They're actually growing in surprisingly quickly. But when I was feeling him over, petting him and just checking him over, I felt he's got a bite wound back here. And it doesn't seem to be from that minute when I put him with his buddy. So I think that what happened was they both got into a, a really bad fight. I really can't think of any other way that he could have gotten scratched. It's not bad, but it definitely looks like a bite. I just wanted to let you get to know him a little bit better. Man, look how fast he's eating. And just give you guys an update. I'll be headed down to San Diego to We Companions. There's going to be an open house on Sunday. And we're going to let everybody come up with a name for these guys then. So his teeth are growing in pretty good. They are a little uneven. But they should even themselves out with a proper diet. Lots of hay. But he's little. He's underweight. But it won't take too long to put some weight on him. So that's this little guy. I can't wait till the open house on Sunday at Wee Companions find out what his name is. I've got some ideas, but I think it's best to let people there at the open house get a chance to decide what his name is. Man, but he is so ravenous. And he's been eating all sorts of stuff. Of course, he's had unlimited hay and pellets right now. But he's had carrots, and we had green peppers last night. And he's had cucumbers and lettuce. You want more? You can have a little bit more, but we gotta save some for your brother. He's like, no. That guy's a jerk. Now, I'm not gonna hold anything against these guys because I don't know if he's the one that bit his brother. Man. But right here, I can feel his spine. He's really underweight. So, really, he should get to eat whatever he wants. Let's say hi to his brother. He's down here. You can see the pink of his wound. Um, this fell off. This was the gross wound scab with all that hair on it and it just came off like a scab. Just take a bite. Now here's the other boy. Very stunning. Now, okay, I'm gonna show you his wound so it really looks more like a scrape when you scrape your knee or something as a little kid. So it's not that gross, but if you're squeamish, maybe look through your fingers. So here you can see that basically, I can't imagine how this would have happened. Here, you just keep eating. But basically, This, all of this is raw. 
And then this is where the puncture was. I guess this is where the... It's hard to know because this is that whole skin layer has come off. So this is like the raw under layer of skin. So maybe there was a puncture and then just the infection just spread through this whole area. Uh, it turned into an abscess and everything above there was abscessed. Okay, that's enough of that. Come here, look at me. Can I have some lettuce? But that's why it's important. Now, not that you guys are all going to be doing rescue, although the more you learn about taking care of piggies, the more equipped you will be to help an animal in danger. And they're so easy to find on Pet Finder. Of course, the medical situations like this, they probably reached out to our rescue before they would even been available to the public. But having some simple antibiotic ointment, some betadine, some Bactine antiseptic, these are all things that's just really important to have and not that expensive. You get some of that stuff at the dollar store. And thank you again for empowering me to be able to nurse some piggies back to health. Um, I will try to do a little video on Sunday at the open house so we can at least find out what these piggies' names are. Come on. He probably just wants to go eat this in his house. You want to go home? Okay, ready? He's not sick of lettuce, he's just sick of me. And that's okay. Hi. These poops look good. Yeah, they do. These are some quality poops you're making. One thing I didn't mention during the previous video is that there was a hamster at the shelter and I got permission to rescue him too. His name is Terrence and he's super adorable and he'll be available at We Companions for adoption. Hi little buddy. So I just want to remind everybody that you can always send me a message through the contact page on my website. There's a link right down here to my website and uh, there's a care guide with everything that I recommend in the emergency kit explain how you can set that up for yourself and don't hesitate to message me all right guys until next time thanks for watching